My name is Tina. I'm an artist and an activist. Welcome to my channel. Here I'm making sure the sash is ready for Her Majesty and packing up the different props. Her little crown and cigarette. Everything is all ready to go. So the project I'll be talking about today is one I call Woke Makeda, and I'll be getting into what that title means a bit later. First I want to preface this by saying that this is actually a collaboration that I'm doing with a climate activist group called Extinction Rebellion. I wanted to contribute to their cause, fighting for some climate justice, by using my creativity and a bit of sense of humor to try and work for one of their demands which is citizens' assemblies. Of course, going to a climate protest, I'm gonna get there the most environmentally friendly way I can, which is on my bike. It's really the best way to get around in Copenhagen. If you're lucky, on a day like today, you might even be the one overtaking the cars just with pedal power. There's something just really satisfying about that. If you haven't heard about citizens' assemblies before, it's basically a much more, if you ask me, true form of democracy. So the way that democracy usually works now is that some people stand for election and you can vote for them. And the problem often is that to get elected, you need a lot of money to get that influence. And that leaves politicians really susceptible to lobbyists and other interests instead of the interests of the people. So a citizens' assembly is instead that you take a representative group of people that reflect the fabric of that country. I really believe that as long as we have the current form of democracy that we have, Things are just not moving fast enough in terms of, of the climate crisis. Like we need to act yesterday and still everywhere they're dragging their feet. Even here in Denmark, that I know we often get a lot of credit for, for acting. A lot of what we're doing is not acting, it's promising to act in the future and we need to be acting right now. So here I'm arriving at Kirsten's Ball which is the home of the Danish parliament. I'm in plenty of time before the protest is scheduled to begin. So the project I want to share with you today is called Woke Magrede. Woke, I think we all know by now, is kind of the stereotypical phrase that's used for progressive norms. And Magrede is a character inspired by the Danish queen, Queen Magrede II. The law of, of of Denmark is actually kind of written in a way as if the king or the monarch, in our case now the queen, is in charge. So in reality she's not. We have a parliament and we have ministers and the state minister. But because of the way the laws are written, actually the queen has to approve all the ministers and uh, the prime minister, it's called, not the state minister, the prime minister. Um, she has to kind of approve them, and, and by now it's just a formality, like. But I couldn't help but think, like, what if one day she just woke up, the queen, and she was just like, actually, I've had enough. It's time for climate action. These politicians aren't doing their jobs. I'm going to go as far as I can, and I'm going to fight for us to change the whole fabric of our society, updating our democracy and uh, changing to being ruled by citizens' assemblies. As I mentioned, I've been collaborating with Extinction Rebellion and they have like an art group and they were luckily really up for doing this collaboration. So Meta from this group said yes to acting the role of the Queen and her husband Henning uh, is like her I don't really know what you'd call it, like her, her manservant guy. It's been quite a collective effort in getting together like the dress and the look and then I've been building like quite a lot of props. Uh, I try to kind of add something every time that we do one of these performances. 
Uh, so it's like a, a crown made from like uh, glass washed up on the shores and um, like this this time I made like a giant cigarette because the Danish queen has always been known for insisting on keeping on smoking even though like I think everyone right now knows what a bad idea that is and especially for like a public figure to do it publicly but I think oddly enough well at least speaking for myself that's one of the reasons that I find her endearing as a person that she kind of just sticks to these things and doesn't really give a damn. The last element of this is, of course, that she gives a speech every time. And we've done it two times now. After the speeches, there has always been some sort of workshop format um, that I have not been involved with. Uh, one time we also had like some um, scholars from some universities come and talk about citizens' assemblies. And for me, that's where a project really makes a lot of sense. It's when it kind of comes together together sort of organically. So a lot of diff different people are contributing with each, with each their thing. It's already quite a lot of people here. And there's actually also some climate change deniers who decided to join us today with a counter demonstration, which of course is their right. I quickly found Henning and got him all dressed up for the performance. He told me that Meta was at a public restroom getting changed, you know, as a queen would. <laughs> so I took a few minutes to have a look around the crowd and, and say hello to my friends and document it all for you. As you can tell, there's a lot of different fractions here. Eventually I found Meta and got her all dressed up with the accessories that I'd made and prepared for today and gave her the speech. And now it was time for her speech. It's of course all in Danish, but it's basically about what I talked about in the introduction, about how Wok Magrede wants to give up all her power, update our democracy, and change it to a citizens' assembly-based one. I also included a joke comparing Danish politics to reality TV, and the crowd seemed to really enjoy that. Of course, Wok Magrede also took the time to have a cigarette while comparing the silliness of smoking, despite what we know about cancer, to the silliness of climate change deniers who really should know better. If you understand Danish and you want to read the full speech, I'll leave a link below in the description where you can read all of it and see more pictures from the event. As the Queen's speech was ending, she introduced another art project that the Extinction Rebellion art group had made. It's these really large cardboard pieces that you can see entering the frame here. The idea, as I understand it, was to make a frieze for the large sculpture in front of the parliament. I've been told that the police had given them permission to put it up around the sculpture, kind of merging their art pieces with the existing sculpture. But unfortunately, this was also the spot where the climate deniers had decided to have their counter-protest. So, when the two groups were suddenly competing for the same spot, tensions were quickly rising. I hadn't been involved with this part of the project myself, and I have to admit, like looking at it from the outside, I couldn't help but find it just a little bit funny. But, I mean, of course, it can't have been much fun for the people who were doing the art project, and for the climate that I asked, it must have felt like an attack on their free speech, I guess. It was kind of a shame because I thought it was a, a really, really cute idea to kind of update the statue. In the end, the climate activists decided it was better just to pick a different location for their art happening. And, and luckily the, the drama ended there and it didn't get out of hand. After all that excitement, I decided I had, had enough action for the day. So I packed up my props, said my goodbyes, and I cycled back on home. So, that's it. That was Wok Magrede that I did with Extinction Rebellion. I really enjoyed doing this project and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can support me by liking it or subscribing to my channel if you want to see some more. I'm going to be using YouTube a lot more going forward to share the art and creative activism that I do. So I hope you'll stick around. It would definitely make me really happy if you did.
All right, have a good day. Take care.